Hello my dear friends, I recently started using the indigenous hydrophobic intraocular lenses that come preloaded and I'd like to sound a word of caution while using these lenses and let's take a look at the first case. In this case, I'm going to implant a toric hydrophobic acrylic lens and for those of you who have marked the cornea either with a 26 gauge needle or with the help of a hockey stick blade, a simple trick is the use of tripen blue in the anterior chamber helps you to increase the visibility of this mark. This is a preloaded hydrophobic acrylic indigenous lens, a toric lens and I'm injecting into the capsular bag. During injection I noticed that there was a lot of force that had to be given to inject this intraocular lens, a subtle sign which I chose to ignore at that point. Once the IOL was injected into the eye, I then decided that I will wash off the viscoelastic and get the IOL to align in the correct plane by pivot rotating it. It is only when I tried to pivot rotate the lens, I found that the lens was moving in a funny sort of fashion, it was flapping around. The reason for which I believed at the point to be that the lens was partly in the bag and partly in the sulcus, it was also decentering. So I thought I'd like to center the lens by dialing it into the bag. It is at this point that I got a rude shock. I found that the trailing haptic of this lens had been truncated and cut, and which is the reason for the decentration of this toric IOL. In this particular case, I had to explant the lens and use another intraocular lens instead. But the lesson that we learn is to identify the exact problem what happens in these hydrophobic acrylic lenses. So let's move on to the second chapter in this experience. After the cortical aspiration, I'm going to implant a lens. This is a multifocal IOL that comes pre-packaged. I decided to load the lens by myself. I injected viscoelastic onto the lens. And then I noted that the lens was nicely in position. I closed the flaps. When I tried to inject the lens, the lens would simply not budge. Watching the video, I'm sure you cannot judge the force I'm using with the plunger in order to push the lens into the barrel. I even injected viscoelastic from the other side through the nozzle of the barrel and then even when I gave a lot of force and pressure, I was not able to budge and move this lens from the barrel of the cartridge into its nozzle. It's at this point in time that I abandoned doing so. I opened up the flaps and I pulled out this lens which was bunched up near the nozzle. To my great relief, I found that this IOL was not broken or damaged in any way. And I decided to load it in a fresh cartridge. I stored the lens in Balonsol solution as a temporary measure. The lens is now loaded into a fresh new cartridge, which is a standard cartridge which we use for indigenous hydrophobic acrylic IOLs. And injected into the eye and everything goes safe. But what is the lesson that we learn? The actual solution that you learn is in this third case I'd like to tell you that when you're using these indigenous lenses, they come pre-packaged in a dry state because they're hydrophobic lenses. These lenses when they dry up, they tend to get stuck to the cartridge. Put a little amount of saline and the most important step is to move the lens or pick it up from the cartridge first. I did not see this problem in other type of preloaded lenses like the Zeiss lenses or other lenses which I have used. It seems to be an exclusive problem with the hydrophobic acrylic indigenous lenses that because they are packaged dry and you know the hydrophobic acrylic material is also extremely sticky, they tend to get stuck to the cartridge and then just putting viscoelastic alone will not solve the problem. You have to first put a little more of balance on solution.
So this is the single most important step that I have learned in the use of these indigenous hydrophobic acrylic lenses that I have started using recently. Because they are packaged dry and they are sticky, they tend to get stuck to the cartridge. So use a little balance salt solution, move the lens, either pick it up or just move it within the barrel itself before putting viscoelastic and loading it and then the injection will occur smoothly and easily and the problem will be solved. Thank you for your attention.